Howdy viewers, Bobby Brown here, and today we're looking at and shooting the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. The real reason it's hard to find 22 bullets. This gun is not new, it's been on the scene for a long time, but it's new to me. Uh, I recently, uh, well I got it last week, and I've put about 500 rounds through it. It does seem to be a little fickle about am ammunition. Um... But you know, sometimes with 22 ammunition with 36 grain hollow point versus uh, 40 grain solid nose, you know, you just never know what you're going to get with 22 bullets. Uh, I used a mix of manufacturers through it, and uh, we'll talk more about uh, how that went. But let's go down range and, and see what this thing will actually do. Now, I did shoot it a lot yesterday. I got this decent little scope on it, nothing fancy, uh, but it does have a... Uh, one of those um, illuminated crosshair features so that's kind of cool although I really don't use it um, but anyway uh, we did shoot it and we got it pretty much zeroed in it seems to be extremely accurate and we're going to go down range and show you what it'll do right now Okay, now as far as ammunition goes, <clears throat> this stuff right here would not function in it at all. I had a high rate of uh, malfunction. It didn't want to kick it back out. I even had one get in behind the ejector down in there, which was a real tough clear. Uh, had to drop the mag a lot. It just, I don't know whatever the deal is, 36 grain, hollow point, copper plate it federal bullets it did not like and then I switched over to this Fiocchi like I said which to my own ignorance I thought it was some kind of European ammunition it says here it's made in Ozark Missouri in good old USA how about that <laughs> that's great uh, it worked flawlessly until we made this video today <laughs> oddly enough but I am gonna shoot all this stuff here I have um, I have some Federal. This is also 36 grain, 1280. Don't know how that's going to work with the hollow point. Maybe a problem. The Remington Golden Bullets, we'll see. Uh, these Federals here are 40 grain as well, solid nose. So they may even, uh, they may work as well as the Fiocchi's. But this stuff right here, uh-uh. No, I was very disappointed. I thought it was the gun, but once again, I think it's the ammunition. Uh, seems to run fine on certain stuff it is getting a little fouled in there uh, like I said I got six six seven hundred rounds through the thing now um, I don't know what else to say uh, the one down the only downfall I can find with it is uh, it is a little fickle on ammunition or at least mine is so far uh, this fouling on the magazine right here this fouling right here on the magazine gets your hands dirty a lot, so you have to kind of wipe that off in between loads. This fouling right here. I don't know what I'm doing with this GoPro. I don't even know what this looks like. So, uh, But I was just excited to show you my new 1522 and give you uh, a good view of it. And hopefully make you understand why there is a 22 shortage in southwest Virginia. We're going to take one more shot down range and see if we can knock them all down. If not, oh well, maybe next time.
Okay, a few errant shots, but for the most part, she's right on at 50 yards. Um, the Remington Golden Bullets seem to work okay. Uh, even though they're 36 grain like the Federals, they function fine. I did have one issue, but um, it really wasn't an issue. It just sounded funny, and I wanted to clear the chamber to make sure I didn't have some kind of weirdness going on. So, uh, Remington 525 count uh, Golden Bullets. So far, so good. Bang, bang. Until next time, keep it pointed in a safe direction. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go shoot the rest of these and I'll let you know just how they do.